What's up, freaks? We're getting for boxing, kickboxing session. We're throwing tons of kicks and knees today. Mixing in kicks and knees like crazy today. In addition to our punches, a lot of same side punches and a lot of kicks. Getting ready. So get your gloves on, get, get stretched out. We're gonna take a, a good amount of time to get warmed up today because you need your hips. What's up, Clara? We need your hips warmed up today because there's gonna be lots of kicks. If you have a bag, there's gonna be roundhouse kicks on the bag. If you don't, there's gonna be front kicks in the air and simulated roundhouse kicks in the air. So get gloved up. We're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna stretch those hips out. We're gonna have a lot of hip swings, glute stretches, hip stretches. All that needs to get done to get rolling. So get gloved up, get warmed up, and ready to kick some ass. All right, we're gonna start right off the bat, getting those legs ready. Grab a, either a wall, a bag, a chair. What's up, Sam, Edu, Jeffrey? All right, so grab a wall, a chair, your bag, whatever. We're gonna start pulling it with one side to the side of you. You're gonna swing your right leg forward while you're swinging the left arm up to it. You're gonna also swing that leg backwards behind you. Open up that hip flexor. We're getting everybody to throw a lot of kicks. <sighs> Breathe it out. You can pop up onto the toe of the leg that's in the, on the ground. <sighs> Whip it. Don't muscle it up there. Let it fling up. <sighs> you just kick me. You just kick me. <sighs> fling it up. <sighs> <sighs> and flip right around. So again, the side you're holding on that opposite foot is gonna kick it up. Beth, what's up? So now I'm holding it here with my left arm to my side, and I'm gonna kick with my left leg, four, up five. With the right arm swinging with it, so at the same time get my shoulder loosened up also. I need to get those hips loosened up, warmed up. Don't muscle it up there, you need to whip it up there, let it swing. Because if you're a freak like me, your legs are sore as shit, and you need to stretch out before you throw all these kicks we're about to throw. All right, now you're gonna face forward towards your chair or wall or whatever you're holding. And we're gonna go sideways with the right leg. So our toes are gonna to turn towards the left while this foot stays flat, left foot stays flat. And then open them up to the right. Whip to the left, open up right. Across the body to the left. So your toes are pointing that way when you go to the left, they're pointing that way when you go to the right. So you're really turning your hip and then opening your hip up. When you go to the right, make sure you get that hip turn. Open it up, turn, open it up. Whip it, whip it. And the other side. Left toes turn out and then cut across. So we're getting that hips loosened up every direction, 360 degrees. It's like a socket, that joint. We need to loosen it up. Whip it across. And good, let's get those shoulders ready to throw some punches. So come with some forward shoulder circles while you're walking forward. We know that one, and backwards while you're walking backwards. We've gotta get the blood flowing, we gotta loosen the body up, we gotta wake it the hell up. Forward shoulder circles coming forward, backwards, coming backwards. A few more times each. Keep it loose, fling it. Forward circles forward, backward circles, Coming to the back. Keep it loose, keep it moving. Shaking. Get those shoulders loose. Whip them, whip them, whip them. Keep rolling, a couple more times each. You need to take your time to get loosened up. So we're throwing tons and tons of strikes today. Keep it rolling. All right, we're gonna go back to those legs. We're gonna hit a quad stretch. Quad stretch, knee hug, knee hug. So right quad stretch, left quad stretch, hold for one to three seconds. Right knee hug, left knee hug. Rotate through those four. Loop through them. Getting ready to throw tons and tons of kicks and knees in various combinations. So there's gonna be a punching round, Upper body strike round, and then a lower body strike round. Stretch it out. 
There it is. Stretch. Rotate with that knee hug. Get those knee hugs in also. Just get these legs ready for the lower body rounds. Now let's go back to the upper body. Getting the upper body ready for their, for their rounds. So now we're going to go shoulder stretch. Fling it open. Shoulder stretch. Fling it down. Tricep stretch. Fling it down. And tricep stretch on the other side. So rotate between those four. So fling the chest open. Stretch shoulder. Hold it. One to three seconds. Fling it open, other shoulder, one to three seconds. Fling it down, up high for a tricep. Fling it down, up high for the other tricep. <clears throat> Rotate through those on your own pace. <sighs> Stretch shoulder, fling it, other shoulder. Fling it down, try. Fling it down, other try. All right, now we're gonna go back to the lower body, but you're gonna do the quad. Let's tap down right to the knee hug on the same side, so just the right side only. Just like there's gonna be some rounds where you're kicking with just the right legs. So we're gonna get that stretch in multiple directions here. Get the quad stretch and knee hug just on the right side. Hold for one or three seconds. Touch down just to get your balance. Right back up to knee hug. Touch back down, quad stretch. Touch, knee hug. Oh, it's sore in there. Oh, yeah. Stretch it. Tap. Knee hug up. Over to the left side. Quad stretch. So at the same time, you're also balancing up, warming up that other leg by balancing on it, getting it ready to throw these kicks. Because every kick you throw, you need to be standing on one leg, obviously. Stretch. Alternating on that same leg. Knee hug. Quad stretch. Hug it. All right, now you're gonna do the same thing with the arms. So you're gonna fling it open, stretch the chest. Or the shoulder, sorry. Fling it down and the tricep on that same side. So you can go just right side on these two upper body stretches. Fling it to the side, stretch right shoulder. Fling it down, stretch right try, which is also stretching the shoulder. Fling it out, shoulder. Down. Try. All right, let's go left side. Fling it open. Stretch shoulder. Fling it down. Stretch try. Open. Shoulder. And down. Try. You're going to jump pace. You're going to go a little faster, go a little faster. You want to hold these a little longer. Do what you got to do. Stretch it. All right, shake it out, loosen up, loosen up. We're gonna get our punches in. We're gonna loosen up our punches now, just in the air. I want these still just in the air. Even if you have a bag, you always need to get some shadow boxing in just in the air. So we're gonna start with just a single punch, moving around. So you're gonna move around with just a jab. So just a light, a one, one jab while you're moving around. Single jab, just the left, straight left. Light on your feet, that's your one. But I want footwork. We need some footwork. We want to continue getting those legs warmed up a little more and ready to kick. So you need to get that blood flowing a little more before we start throwing kicks. Single jab in there. Look, when I'm throwing that jab, look at this right hand. Is It's glued at home. Straight down the middle. Turning the wrist over. Single jab. Light on your feet. Light on feet, move around, move around, flow. Always maintaining your stance though. Footwork, footwork, hands up. All right, let's go with a two. Move around and a straight right. When you throw a straight right, turn your hip. Pivot your feet. Light on your feet, move around. Turn those hips over, boom. Move around, move around. We want some footwork. We need you bouncing around. Move around all over the house, all over the damn neighborhood. Let them think you're crazy. Bounce around. Flow. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Let's go to our three, which is our left hook. Three. Move around. 
turn, pivot, throw a punch. Just a single punch right now. Single punch. Left hook. Just getting the upper and lower body warmed up right here. Elbows up and out. Elbows bent 90 degrees. Parallel to the floor. Bounce, flow, rhythm, boom. Let's go to our four, right hook. Let the body turn. Move around. Come on, footwork. Your legs should be working here. Your legs should be working because you're bouncing around. On the balls of your feet, setting up those punches. Your momentum and flow is setting up those punches. Circle, move, pivot, all over. Full of energy. I want your heart rate getting up there. I want you starting to break a sweat already, just from punching the air. All right, let's go five. That's our left uppercut. Five. Twist in. So crunch in, drive upward like you're coming under the chin. Still moving around. Twist, pivot, crunch, and shovel that uppercut in there. Right under the chin, huh? right into the gut, huh? right there, left upper. Move, move, I need you to move around, freaks. I need you moving around. I need you bouncing around the house. Wake up the damn neighbors. Flowing, flowing. Boom. And six, right uppercut, right uppercut, bam. And move, and move, and flow. Let's roll, wake your asses up. Right uppercut, hands up. We need some energy here. We need some energy. Movement with the feet. Get those legs ready to throw some kicks. And knees. Most of the combos today are going to be same side, both for the punches and for the kicks. It's going to be same side combos. A couple of the kick combos are going to go opposite side, like alternating side. But for most part, it's going to be same side. And time. Shake it out on your own. Take the next 15 seconds. Stretch whatever you need to stretch. You know what else you need to stretch. Get those hip flexors stretched out with a twist. Do what you gotta do. Just gonna adjust one of these cameras just a drop. Keep stretching. A couple seconds on your own. I want you to be able to see the kicks a little better. back here so we are going to be plenty of kicks. All right, so this first round is going to be all just doubles on your punches. We're on the bag now. It's going to be just double punches, simple stuff. Same stuff we were just doing in the air. Still want some footwork, still want some light on your feet. But literally, just to get the punches started on the bag, you're just going to do doubles. So right now we're starting with just double jab. Let's go, double jab on the bag. Light on your feet. If you have a bag, you still should be moving around the bag. So double jab. Just punches for now. We're going to be rolling back and forth with punches and kicks. Light it up. Light it up. Quick. We're warmed up right. We moved around. It should be pop, pop. Look from the side view. When I throw that punch in slow motion, it comes all the way back in and goes back out. So don't just pull it out there for the second one. Don't just stick it out there. It needs to be two full punches quickly. Light on your feet. Pop that jab, double it, one, one. Hands up, hands up. Light on your feet. Pop, pop. Oh yeah. Nothing like punching. Something early in the morning. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Let the hand stays up at your chin. Light on your feet. And time. So we're gonna go right, stick with, we're gonna stick with that left side. We're gonna go with a front kick. If you have a bag, you're on the left side only. Front kick, roundhouse with the left leg. If you're in the air, you can go front kick and just simulate the roundhouse by stepping to the side, or if you feel better, you can just do double front kick, whatever works for you. So let's just go double front, actually let's all just go double front kick to get those hips loosened up. I don't want you doing those turns yet. So let's all go double, double left front kick. Boom, boom, right there, and reset. Double front kick. 
on the left side. You can use the bag, you can use the air. Kick the bag, push off that right leg. Try and double left front kick, double left front kick. So even if you're in your stance here, you could jump and switch your step to make that left leg the back leg. Do what you gotta do, and then get back to your stance and move around. Double left front kick. Light, light on your feet and bounce. All right, we're going right back to punches. We're gonna be going back and forth, nonstop, upper, lower, upper, lower. Going with our straight rights. It's a two, all the way back, two. So double up that two. Make sure you recoil it, bring it all the way back. All the way back and reset. Hands up. So two separate pivots with that right hip. Turn. That right foot pivots. Comes all the way back. So boom, come back, boom. So double pump that right hand. Strong. It's back, back. And it comes all the way back in between. Reset, bounce around, get back to your stance in between. Pop it out, just keep that left hand up the whole time while you throw that double right. Two separate hips, hip, hip. Right here, boom, boom. Turn the body, turn the waist. Slam your feet, bounce, flow, rhythm. Time to go right away, right front kick, double up. Two right front kicks, keep those hands up. Bend the knee and extend. Pushing off of that left leg. Bounce around in between, get back into your stance, keep yourself stable. Hands up. Double right front kick. You can still front kick your back if you want. Front kick the air, front kick the bag, whatever works. All right, let's go to our back to our punches, our hooks. You're gonna go our three, our double left hook. So it's pop, pop. Reset, double left hook, that's a 3-3. Three, three. Go, 3-3. Three, three. Two punches and reset, not just non-stop. Oh, ah, left hook. Elbow up and out, 90 degrees. Moving parallel to the floor. Double left hook. And reset. You see the whole time that I'm throwing both hooks, this right hand is glued to my chin, elbow tucked in. Double pump that left, double left hook. Move around, flow and rhythm in between. You need to flow. Boom, boom. And reset. Land your feet, bounce. Right away, we're gonna go left knees, double left knees. So you're in your stance. You're gonna switch that left knee being the back knee, boom. Boom! Get back to your stance and move. Double left knee. Double left knee. Here, switch. Boom. Boom. Double left knee. Back to your stance. Switch. Boom. Boom. And move. Double left knee. Ha. Ha. And reset. Double left knee. Hands up in between. You're throwing those knees. Grab a hold of your target. Control your target. Move it around. Bring it where you want. And boom! And bash it with that double left knee. Just because you're not a lefty, if you're not a lefty, doesn't mean that knee, that left knee, can't be freaking, boom, devastating. Hands up. Move around, move around. A little flow. All right, right over to the right hook. Double fours for four, four. Double right hook. And reset. Where's your right hook? So that elbow is up and out, coming from the side. Pivoting that right foot, turning that right hip two separate times. Dig it in and reset. Double pumping, it's gotta be fast, quick. Recoil, in between. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Oh yeah, pumping it, pumping it. Right elbow up and out. Drive, drive, drive. Hands up, hands up. Right away, right knees, double right knees. 
Told you we're gonna be alternating upper and lower body all day, non-stop. You don't need no freaking break. It's only one, one limb at a time. Let's go. Boom, boom. Double right knee. Reset. Back to your stance. Grab the target if you can, or you don't need to grab the target. Bob is very satisfying over there to knee. That's enjoyable. Can I hop in there for one? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, double right knee on Robert. Come here, Bobby. Ah. Oh, right to the neck. That was a throw. That's going to leave a mark. Double right knee. Shh. Shh. Hands up. Bounce around. Shh. Shh. Right away, left uppercut. Double left uppercut. Shh. Crunch in. We're moving. We're moving. We're flowing. Double left uppercut. R5. Double pump it. You got to get used to doubling up on one side. Listen, you throw a punch and it lands, it's there again, you need to throw it again. You're not necessarily always going to go to the other side. There might not be an opening on that side. I might just the opening might stay on the same side. So it's ha, ha. You got to be ready. I've been in fights, well, allegedly, where it's just right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand, because that's just the opening. Double left uppercut. Punch it in. Reset. Get that waist into it. The abs, the obliques, the lats. You're flowing. You're moving. Crunch in. Swivel in. Double left uppercut. Round, move around. And right into a double right uppercut. Finish off this round. For the doubles, we're not going to do the roundhouse kicks yet for the doubles. So I want to take time for that. At the end of this round, to show you what to do in the air. And if you don't have a bag, you're going to probably do most of the front kicks. It's going to feel more comfortable for the roundhouse kick. If you have a bag, you can double up on them. I want to get those in a row together, back to back. Right uppercut. Crunch in there, crunch in there, drive. Ha! Ha! Breathe it out. Dig, dig, dig! Alright, we're going to go roundhouse kicks here. So we're gonna go double left roundhouse. If you have a bag, you're in your stance. You're in your stance. You're gonna jump switch and double pump. That left kick, back to your stance. Switch, pop, pop, back to your stance. If you're in the air, same thing with front kicks. Just double pump the front kick. If you want, in the air, you can simulate a roundhouse kick, but don't go through with it because it's just awkward throwing a roundhouse kick. It's up to you in the air, how you feel better doing it. If you wanna throw a Side kick in the air, you can. Those aren't, those don't work for me, but if it works for you, go for it. So either in the air, go double front kick, go double simulated roundhouse kick without following through, or a side kick. On the bag, though, it's crack, crack, double roundhouse. Go, double left roundhouse. Let's do it. Breathe it out. Hands up in between. Back to your stance. Switch step, crack. Yeah, if you're in the air, switch step, you can just go front kick again if you need to. So those roundhouses, if the modified roundhouse in the air or the side kick doesn't feel right, you just stick with front kick. That's fine. You'll just double up on it. Hands up. Double up on that left side. Reset in between. Switch step. Boom. Boom. And just go right out, all the way to the right to the right side now. Double right kick. If you have a bag of roundhouse, don't forget, you can just kind of simulate that where you're whipping it in the air for a double, so you'd be here, whack, whack, and just don't fall through. Because then it's just all weird and you're spinning and doing this ballet shit. This doesn't really work. Although if you throw a roundhouse kick and miss real speed, you need to be prepared for that, but we're not worried about that right now. Whip that leg in there. Double right kicks. Whip it. Couple more. Front kicks in the air if you need to. Or again, just whip that hip in the air, pump it. It's gonna get the same movement, same motion. And time. Shake it out, do what you gotta do. That's the end of that round. That was a long first round. 
just getting started. All right, shake it, shake it, shake it. So we're gonna, that was two strike combos on the same side and the same combo. Next is gonna be two strike combos on the same side, but different strikes. So a one, three, for instance, or a front kick roundhouse. We're gonna get that. So every variation that we're gonna do. It's gonna be several of each for the hands and several of each for the legs. Similar to the first round, we're gonna alternate between an upper body, upper body combo, lower body combo. Most of them are gonna be on the same side, most. All the punching combos today are gonna be on the same side. Most of the leg combos are gonna be on the same side. A couple we're gonna switch. All right, so let's do it. Let's start with the punches. We're going to a one, three. A one, three. That's your straight left. Left hook, go, one, three. I need movement. You're on the bag, you have a bag, you're on the bag. Move around, move around. One, three. Reset. Now the right hand stays up the whole time. One, three. So listen, don't just pull it out there, but also don't hesitate and reset so much in between. He said, come right back, boom. Double pump that arm. Reset. Left jab, left hook. So it's your lead hand straight, your lead hand hook. One, three. Dig it in there, pop, boom. Move into it, move into it, turn into your pivoting on that left hook. So it's a one, turn the body. Turn, turn. Boats, boats. There it is. One, three. Hands up, hands up. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it rolling. It's going to be long rounds. And listen, it's only one side at a time and one limit at a time, so you don't need much of a break. Just control your breathing and you're gonna be just fine. This is gonna be a real long round here. This is gonna be like a 15-minute round. To get all these combos in. And go to your own pace. You need to stop for a second, take a sit, take a sit, hop back in. One, three. Keep that right hand up, straight left, left hook. Move around a little bit if you have space. And the switch to the left side. You're gonna go left front, left round. So if you're in the air, just go front, round, simulator. Let's do it. Left front kick, left round house. Go. Left front, left round. So in your stance, switch. Go, front, round. Reset. Two strong, hard kicks. Front and round. Left front, left round. Let's do it. Whip it. Don't forget to come back to your stance every time. So this is my lead leg. I'm here, I'm bouncing, I'm flowing, I'm rhythm. I'm gonna do a switch step, switch. So now my left leg is my back leg, so I can kick. Roundhouse. Double pump that left side. Same way you did. One, three, right? It's the same movement if you think about it. Think of like a one, and a three with the roundhouse. Let's see it, let's see it. Whip that hip. Keep it rolling. Left front, left round. Reset. So even if I'm in the air, I can still get some tempo to it. Look, switch, boom, boom. Back to the stance, reset, even if you don't have a bag. You can still make this happen. You don't feel comfortable simulating that half roundhouse? Just double pump a left. Front kick again, no big deal, it's still working. As long as you're moving those legs up in the air and you're balancing on one leg, the opposite leg while you're doing it. Takes tons of energy and burns tons of calories just moving your legs around. Legs have huge muscles in it. All right, over to the right side. You're gonna go two, four. So that's right straight, right hook. That's your rear hand. Rear hand straight, rear hand hook. Two, four. Double whip with the hip. So whip, recoil, whip. Two separate pivots. 
On the ball of your feet, left hand stays up. Two, four. Right straight, right hook. Reset. Hands up, hands up. Dig, 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 dig. Two, four. Boom, breathe it out. Two, four, right. Right straight, right hook. Keep it rolling. So right now we're only using our right arms. Right forward is only the left leg. So this is a long round. So the rest of your body, except your breathing, is getting a recovery. Of course your legs are moving and pivoting. Your legs are always working in boxing. But you know what I mean. I mean, this is going to be a long round. So suck it up. Flow the rhythm. And listen, any time in between, you just bounce around. Your rhythm, your recovery could be your footwork. Footwork is always your recovery if you need to. You move around. That's your recovery from throwing punches. Then come in and two, four. Remember, hand not punching stays up. Two, four, right there. Lighting your feet. Hands up, hands up. Boom. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Turn into it, turn into it. So it's rear hand straight, rear hand hook. That's a two, four. Turn the body, that right side of the body. Into each punch. Right away to the right leg. Right to the right leg. Right front. Right round. Reset. So, reset back to your stance. You need to bounce around. You need to flow into these kicks. Flow into these combos. You can't just stand flat-footed. Those kicks are not going to work and have no hip mobility. You need to bounce around. Have that rhythm already going. So you can go from right front, right round. need to, just double up on the right front kick if you have to. Do what you got to do. Right front, right round, reset. Back to your stance. Always bounce. Recovery. Back to your stance. Back home. If you're ready to reassess the situation and come back out with the next combo. Right front, right round, reset as quickly as possible. One more. Ha! Ah. Going back to that left side. Now it's going to be a three, five. Three, five. Left hook, left uppercut. Lead hand hook, lead hand upper. Go. I told you it's a long round. Of course, you need to stop for a second and shake it out. Do what you got to do. Let's do it. Three, five. That's left hook, left upper. and flow. Here it is. Three, five. Oh yeah. Long round, long round. We're already five, six minutes into this, this round at least. And not even halfway double the round. We can only be one limit at a time. We can do this all day. You don't need no damn break. What's up, Alberto Torres? What's up? Crunch it, crunch it. Three, five. Round. Hips. Rhythm. Flow. There it is. Three and five. That's 
Lead hook, lead upper. Three, five. And time. Now you're going with the left side. You're going to go left front kick. Sorry, left roundhouse to, to left knee. Left round, left knee, reset. Reset. If you're in the air, left round, left knee, or if you just want to go left front, left knee. Let's do it. So think left kick, left knee. Don't care what kind of kick you do. Really doesn't matter right now. If you have a bag, go roundhouse, three in the air, probably go front kick. Let's do it. Kick, knee, on that left side. Left front kick, left knee, reset. Drive it. Switch that, left kick, left knee. You have a bag, go roundhouse. Into that left knee, reset. Grab a hold of the target if you can. After the kiss, the kick kind of closes the distance and flow right into that knee from there. Left kick, left knee, viciousness. Switch, boom, boom. Back to your stance. So a quick switch step with your feet. Kick, knee, hands up. There it is. Bounce around, bounce around, flip, boom, boom. Couple more, couple more. Last one. Back to the right side, to the punches. We now have a four, six. Right hook, right upper, let's do it, let's see it. It's a four, six. So rear hand coming to the side, rear hand coming underneath for an uppercut. Right hook, right up, four, six. Hands up. All that right hand is punching, that left hand's up the whole time. Right hook, right upper. Reset. Rear hand hook, rear hand upper. Take it, take it short. Choppy, strong punches. Working it, working it. Push yourself. All out. Boom, boom. Four, six. Crunch it. Dig it. Let it flow. Four, six. Move around, bounce around. Right hook, right up. Oh yeah. Pump that right side. Turning your hip. Reset. Twisting the hip again. Twisting the waist. Power is coming from the ground up. It's your power hand, your rear hand. Make them count. Left hand stays up your chin. Hook, upper. Boom, boom. And time. All right, you're going to be going with your right side. So it's right kick, right knee. You have a bag of roundhouse. If you're in the air, just go front knee. So it's right kick, right knee. Go, go, start. Let's do it. Let's roll. Hands up. Right kick, right knee. Reset. Back to your stance. Right kick, right knee. If you have a bag in roundhouse like the freaks behind you are doing, if you're in the air, just do a front kick. And reset. Boom. Knee. If you have a bag going some roundhouse, right into that knee. Drive that knee in. After the kick, grab a hold if you can. Control it even more for the knee. Kick. 
Close range for that upper. Step in. Close range for the upper. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Dig, dig, dig. Time with that one. All right. We're going back to the left side. This one's going to be a little weird for a bag, but this one actually works better in the air. We're going left knee to left front kick. Can I get a volunteer? Oh, you, sir. Thank you for volunteering. So let's say my knee is going to knock him back, and I want to follow it up, right? Left knee knocks him back, so now he's in kicking range, boom, and I can front kick. Because normally that's not going to work. Come here. If he's in close, and I'm holding him, and I'm still holding him my knee, I'm not going to front kick from here. I have no need to. This is just for... Boom, if he gets free, bam, I'm gonna follow up on that kick. So it's a little awkward on the bag. If you're using a bag, you're gonna need to knee, step back, kick, and then reset. So it's not a normal combo when you're doing a bag unless you're consciously thinking about it and picturing that in your head. The knee knocks him away to boom, kick him in the teeth. Let's roll. Left knee to left front kick. A little different of a combo. But I just showed you how it's effective. Knee, bam, come forward. It's like the knee is, boom, get away from me. Nope, where are you going? Bam. Following up. You know what her workout was from? I'll tell you in a second. Knee, knee, front kick. So last night, we're brushing our teeth at like 11 o'clock at night when we had to get up at 2.30 in the morning for this. And as we're brushing our teeth, in normal freak style, we start sparring for some reason while we're brushing teeth. And I started just kicking, following up with another kick. This whole workout was created off of toothbrush, Toothbrush sparring 
from just a few hours ago, and it, it created this entire flow of all these rounds. So just one combo I did to him in the in the sparring, and one combo he did back in my head set up this whole chain of events that we have for this entire workout, for this entire flow, where it all just flows perfectly. All right, left knee, left front, reset. Left knee, left front. Try another bag also if you have a bag, just be used to changing that distance. So switch, knee, step back, boom. Give yourself that space, kind of a little hop back is simulating the charge forward to follow up with that. Boom, bam, reset, hands are up. And let's go over to the right side. Now we're gonna go with a two six. So again, we're reaching out and touching them and then closing the distance. Two, six. So the two is far away. That's your rear hand straight, rear hand upper. So if you're in the air, don't just stand in place and do this. Because if I hit you with a two and it lands, I'm not going to be able to hit uppercut unless I'm closing the distance. I'm going in for the kill. So it should be two, upper, reset. Ha! Ha! Just think about it on the bag even. If I land at two and I'm extended, I can't do an uppercut unless I come forward. So I need to have some flow, some energy, and it needs to be ha! Ha! Come in. Ha! Ha! Two, six. Let's see it. I want to see some movement. I want to see some forward aggression. Driving forward. Two, six. There it is. See, I'm closing the distance. You can even see that on the camera. You need to close that distance. Hands up. Ha! There it is. Breathe. Boom! Oh yeah. This is freak style. Boom, boom, that left hand's up the whole time. Cause you're aggressive, you're coming forward. Listen, if you're driving forward with your hands down, it's gonna take just a little pop to knock your ass out. So you need to be focused the whole time. This is not blind, stupid aggression and rage. This is controlled chaos, that's what this is. That's laser beam focus. Dialed in, firing on all cylinders. Driving forward, aggressiveness, boom, boom, oh yeah. Ha. There it is. Closing the distance for that two, six. Boom, boom, and time. And going to the right side for that for the legs. Right knee, right front. So again, oh, we need to demonstrate again. Oh, you didn't get it clear enough. You wanted to see it again. Perfect, thank you, sir, for volunteering, appreciate it. So I'm in here, right knee, boom, knocks away, no, not so fast, where are you going? And followed up with a kick, because they're now in a different range. After you blasted them, boom, with that knee, kick to the face, finish it off. Excuse me, miss, Would you, you wanted some? You wanted to demonstrate? Oh, you weren't understanding, you wanted to be, you wanted to feel it. Gotcha. Ha, ha. Let's go, right knee, right kick, reset. It's a front kick we're going right now. Nothing says it can't be a roundhouse, but we're just making it a front right now. Right knee, right front. Double pump in that right side. Oh, my good friend Robert. Robert. So you could go here. Look, I'm on Robert. Knee, ha, boom! Oh, yeah! This is Sparta! Ha, oh yeah! Something just satisfying about caving in Robert's chest. And reset, hands up. Knees, kick. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Right knee, right kick. Reset. You can see the way this workout flows. You need minimal breaks. And you're burning tons and tons of calorie. Torching fast, working crazy abs, working your entire body head to toe, your core, your balance, your legs, your hips, your glutes. Knee, kick. Boxing is my primary ab workouts I do for the week. I really don't do any ab exercises. Boxing is my ab workout. So if you want strong, firm, functional core, this is the way to do it. By doing these different kinds of ha, ha, because each one of these, the abs are core. The abs are tight. This core is holding together your upper and lower and letting you get that weight shift and transition. It's got to be tight in the middle. Everything comes from here, from your gut. 
in front and time. And that's the end of the round. That was, I don't even know, 15, 20 minute round. We're gonna go with some three strike combos coming up. You got about two seconds to stretch. Shake it out. My legs are sore as shit from five mile running the hills a couple days ago. Then working a hard total body workout yesterday. Killing the legs. Glutes are on fire. Feeling good. So that's, and then that was the thing. So I started thinking of that tooth, toothbrush, whatever, brushing teeth workout that we were doing the sparring session. It spawned this entire workout with these combinations. And then I'm thinking, but shit, that's a lot of kicking, that's a lot of bouncing, that's a lot on one leg, my legs are sore as shit. And I said, you know what? That's exactly why I need to do it. I'm not gonna avoid it because it's sore. Just do it anyway. You're tired. Just freaking do it. You're sore. Just do it. You're sick. Just do it. You don't feel like it. Just freaking do it. Do it anyway. That's how you get successful in all areas of life. You don't feel like doing those extra two hours of work when you get home, but you know you probably need it to make some more money and succeed. Just do it anyway. Stop making excuses. No freaking excuses. Just do it anyway. Figure it out. Make it happen. Do something about it. You don't like your situation? Do something about it. Don't sit and complain and bitch and moan and, and talk shit about other people. You don't like your situation, where you are in life. Do something about it. There's always something you can do about it. And after you think you've done everything there is to do, there's always something else you can do. There's always one more thing and one more thing and one more thing you can do about it. All right, enough of that. That was just an excuse to give us a break because my legs are shot. But let's do it. So on the left side, punches. One, three, five. That's a straight hook, uppercut on the left side. Let's do it. One, three, five. Three strike combos to take us home. The home stretch. One, three, five. You're welcome for that, that speech to give you a break. After that long ass round we just did. So now you should be full of fire, full of energy. Ha, ha, ha. Going out with a bang. One, three, five. Reset. One, three, five. Oh yeah. Four, 
six, two, four, six. Dig it, dig it, dig it in. Oh yeah. Two, four, six, a few more, a few more, hard, hard. Reset, move, flow and rhythm. Two, four, six, crunch, get that weight into it. Get the abs into it. Two, four, six, oh yeah. Combo of the day, right side, it's right front, right round, right knee. Finish off, it's your strong side. Ha! 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 Front, round, knee on the right. Go! Three, two, one, boom! Last round of the day, freaks. I need you going all out. This needs to be aggressive. It needs to be vicious. Strut! Drive it, dig it, dig it. Ha! 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 Hands up. Hands up. Swim. Front round knee on the right. Drive that knee in there. Front. Roundhouse. Knee. A few more, a few more. Finish off. Finish off. Front round knee on the right. Dig it, freaks. Dig it. Two more times. Front round, knee on the right. And time! We are done! Freaks. Harry Knuckle fist bump for you freaks. Completing that workout out there. Craziness. Really, not much of breaks. And think about it. Strategically, the order of the exercise is very strategic where it makes sense, it flows, it has a specific template, and also needs minimal amount of rest because you can just keep going and going and going. Just like in your day. Think about this workout right now as a metaphor for your freaking day. The way your day goes. You get up early. Early in the morning before anyone else. You get up. And you're tired, you're hungry, you're still thinking about shit that happened in the week, think it happened earlier in the day or yesterday, whatever it is. But then you get up, you grit your teeth, you tuck your chin, you put your hands up, and you freaking attack the day, you charge forward into the day. But not with reckless abandon where you're throwing these big wild haymakers and you gas out by 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. Where it's strategic, where we're here on the left side, all right, I'm gonna focus just on this for this hour. Just this left side. Right there. So then the next part of my day, I don't have to stop and take a little bit, a little nap like a little child. Because now I have energy to come and focus over here. And then when that's done, now I have energy to focus over here in my day. It's all structured. That's why we need a no break during this workout. That's why I can do this at 2.30 in the morning with full of energy and enthusiasm. It's all about how you balance your shit out, how you structure it, how you schedule it, how you have discipline. And hold yourself accountable for it. But also... Program things the right way in your workouts, in your freaking day, in your life. So that you can just keep going and go strong all day long. And nothing can freaking stop you no matter what comes your way in the craziness that's going on in the world today. So take time and control your day. You take control of your day. You structure your day. And it all starts with a, a, your freaking attitude, your mental attitude. A positive attitude, maximum effort. That's all it takes and not making any freaking excuses. Or on Facebook it's going to say... Sesuke on, but whatever, you know what the fuck it means. All right, anyway, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Awesome workout, I'm feeling good, I hope you're feeling as good as I am, I'm hoping you had as much fun as we did over here. I will talk to you later, you are freaking awesome, no excuses, I'm guessing Little Freak Show has something you want to say to you here at 3 in the morning while he wakes up the neighbors. No excuses! Very, very normal child that now. It's now four in the morning. Wake up, neighbors. Neighbors need to make no excuses, too. Wake your asses up. Attack the day. We call it out here in, in our private coaching programs, we call it attacking the hill. Because the problem is, most people, they come across a big obstacle, a big hill in life. Even think about it. You're running. You're jogging. I did this yesterday, two days ago when I was running. You get to those hills, and you start slowing down, and you trudge up the hill. 
Then you get to the flat ground or the downhill and you just start cruising and you're all happy and yippity. Screw that. Change that shit around. You see the obstacle. You see the hill. Attack the fucking hill. Charge up that shit. Because no one else is doing it. I guarantee you're going to get a lot more done if you hit that shit head on. Hit the hard shit head on. All out. Like the aggressiveness we're having on Bob back here. That's the way you need to attack your day. Attack your day. Attack the hill. And you're going to control your day. You're going to control your life. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.